In today's chess puzzle, white checkmates black in three moves. The game was played four years ago in St. Petersburg between Anish Giri and Olga Lilikova. Anish Giri was then 12 years old and had been play playing chess for six years. When Giri became a grandmaster at the age of 14, 7 months and 2 days, he was the then youngest grandmaster ever. The game was played two years before that Giri won the Dutch championship and in 2010 he won both the B group in the Chorus Chess Tournament and the 18th edition of the C Sigemann and Company Chess Tournament in Malmö. Giri has of course a whole list of great performances but for that list I recommend you to visit his website anishgiri.nl because now it's time to solve this week's check checkmate combination. White wins in three moves, good luck! The position is even in purely material terms, but you should by all means not miss the checkmate that is hidden here. I can imagine that many of you tried out the combination that starts with queen to f5 check. The move looks quite okay, especially considering that the rook guards the entire b file, and if black would block the check with her queen, then we would play rook to b5 check. The king would either take the rook or go to c4, and whatever he chooses, we would win the queen. Black would probably play down the pawn here and then there is no continuation for us. So if we don't check on f5, e3 remains as a possible checking square. Since we've used the black diagonal, the black queen can't come to the king's rescue. The king must instead move away from the check. He can go to either d5 or d4. If he will go to d4, we check on b5 with the rook. If the black rook blocks the check, we play queen to e4 with a checkmate. Instead of blocking the check with the rook, black can choose to play down the king to c4, threatening the rook. In this case, we play queen to d3 with a check that simultaneously guards the rook, making it a checkmate. And let's go back to the black's first move. In this position, we have just played queen to e3 check. The king can now choose to go to c4. If that happens, we play queen to d3 check. The king must step back and then we place the rook on b5 with a checkmate. So there were some variations to keep track of, but I don't really think that this was much of a challenge for you. Next week will be this season's final episode and then we'll take on a more difficult puzzle. So be sure to be ready for a real challenge.